Hey guys, it's me, Manila Luzon, and welcome to my home and a very special edition of Inspire Me. Manila edition, number one. I have vanillas all over the world, but one of the most memorable vanillas out there I met during season three of RuPaul's Drag Race. And now, years later, she's still my number one fan, ladies and gentlemen, and however you want to identify yourselves, I give to you the number one vanilla, Ellie. <laughs> After the show, I was having a cocktail out in the bar and Allie approached me. She was super young and she came up to me and she said, you were so amazing. She opened up her wallet and she said, just, just take it all. Basically any show that I've had in the Southern California area, Allie will be there. Sometimes she's there so early that she arrives before the place even opens. Allie's come to every single drag con, both in Los Angeles and in New York. She's actually even showed up to a few of my shows down in Texas, in Pittsburgh. I was in Akron, Ohio, and Allie was there first in line at the meet and greet. At this point, I think Allie probably has more of my stuff than I actually do. I don't know what she does with all of my stuff, but hopefully she's keeping it well preserved. She even has a life-size cardboard cutout of me. I hope that after I pass, Ali does make a museum dedicated to me. Can you imagine a Manila museum? Hi, I'm Ali. I'm Manila's number one fan. And I'm gonna show you some of my stuff that I've collected over the years. This is also one of Manila's shirts right here. She signed for me. We were in San Jose. Her assistant, Christian, was wearing this shirt and it wasn't released yet. And I was like, can I have that? <laughs> and he took it off and he let me have it. This cutout, I won at DragCon New York. Congratulations! You won a Manila! And then I had a friend ship it to me so I could have it here. I got the cutout. She said, now you can take a selfie whenever you want. <laughs> I wonder if it's like creepy, like that I, I'm staring at her. And sometimes I forget that it's in the room and I'll come in and I'm like, <laughs> it startles me. <laughs> These are two of her dresses that I have now. This is her Cookie Monster look from Drag U. I always wanted this dress. Money dress from season three that she wore during the Money Ball. Now we're going into my room, and there's more, <laughs> of course, everywhere. This is actually one of Manila's drawings she drew, and I got at DragCon, her SpongeBob outfit. This doll was exclusive at New York DragCon, and it was the first thing I got when I got there. It's her period dress look from All Stars. And then I have a bunch of the magazines that she's been in. This one was from the UK, All Right Darling. It took a while to get here because it was from the Philippines. This is the photo shoot that she did. It was super cute. And then I have that one too. And then a friend of mine got it signed for me in Chicago when she saw her. She like, ordered one for me and I had my own, but she got me one too and she signed it to me, which is really sweet, so. Okay, this is the spaghetti look and the doll. And I got this at, I think it was LA DragCon. I bought mine before that. I think I had it on the website before DragCon. This painting I bought at DragCon LA and then, and then I won another painting. <laughs> a lot of this painting. I have this one and then I won in New York as well. Anyone, anyone, anyone? Oh, no, Four total. This is Manila's look from All Stars 4. It was on her head. It doesn't really fit on my head, really, but this is it. Uh, this poster Manila gave me <laughs> when I came to one of her shows. She said she got that for me. Had all the girls sign it, which was really sweet. Manila Drag You was like one of the first autographs she ever gave me. That was like the first Pride event she did in LA, which was like really early on. I got this at the PG store. They they said there was only like two of them, and I bought one. She signed the back of it. Okay, this is Manila's pineapple purse from season three. So that's where that went. This exact one that she wore on the runway with her pineapple dress. I got that at DragCon LA. I'm afraid to actually use this purse and have anything happen to it, so I never end up actually using it. The pillow I got online. I love this print. I have a skirt in this exact print. <laughs> I believe I got this one at the This Body video. It was one of the ones I got there, but I have about three of these. Hey, Ali, 
it's me, Manila. You've been an amazing fan over all these years. First in line, number one, Vanilla. You've been to so many of my gigs, I lost count. So to show my appreciation, Allie, I'm giving you a free Manila makeover with hair by Steven Buitrago. I can't wait to see your finished look. You don't have to put the blonde streak in. I'm like really excited, that's adorable. Thank you, it's so sweet of her to do that. Hey! Number one fan. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Are you ready? I am ready. Look how beautiful she looks. <laughs> It looks adorable. Do you like it? I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching the special edition of Inspire Me Vanilla Edition. Yeah, and I'm talking to you, Allie. You look great. Bye.